Am I the only one that sounds like they're having sex with their bicycle at the end of a 45 minute ride? <clears throat> Almost there. <gasps> no, 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 no. Don't touch me. I'm sensitive. Well, it's my Peloton cycle journey, video number six. I can't believe it's already been three weeks. It's been a really good three weeks too. But the week didn't start out that great because I did something on Monday morning, which I never do. I slept past my alarm. I didn't hear it. And I missed my morning class with Stephen Little. I love morning cardio, I never miss it. All cardio is good, but morning cardio is best. Just because I miss my morning cardio is no excuse for me to skip it. In your middle age, you gotta do cardio every day. And that is a fact. Boom! So no big deal. When I got home at work at 4.30, I jumped on my bike and rode with Jessica King. And as always, Jessica gave us a wild metrics ride. Jessica King is one wild chick, man. Her classes are really good. And you know what? I'm gonna say it. It was actually pretty cool to do cardio in the evening. With the help of Jessica King, I just got to be cleansed of all that work weekday stress. I mean, it really felt good. I felt all the stress from the workday just sweat out of my body. Still not giving up my morning cardio. But thanks, Jessica. But Tuesday morning, I was determined to wake up on time for a ride with a pro cyclist. I never heard of the guy. I don't know much about pro cyclists. It's not like it's the NFL or Major League Baseball. No offense to pro cyclists. So I woke up early Tuesday morning to do my ride with pro cyclist Christian Vanderbilt. I gotta tell you, I was a little bit nervous because this guy's a pro cyclist and I'm just an amateur. But everything went good. The ride wasn't as bad as I thought and I thought things went well. Well, so I thought. Yeah, so I thought. Got to work that day. About two hours later, I started noticing my, my legs were starting to get a little stiff. By the third hour into work, my butt cheeks were like clenched together. I could hardly walk. In fact, I couldn't walk. I waddled. It looked like someone took a broomstick and just shoved it right up my ass. Woo! Seriously, you should have seen the way I was walking around work. I looked like a Peloton goofball. Like it hasn't happened to you. I mean, my butt cheeks were like glued together. Hey, how you doing, Bob? No, I'm fine. Listen, man, you need to understand something about me. I used to be hard. I was strong. I had endurance. I was a man's man. I was a U.S. Marine. I was a state trooper for 10 years. I was a fugitive recovery agent like Tom Lee Jones in The Fugitive. I would go chase bad guys and bring them back to Washington State. Because of this guy, every time I sat down at work, it, it sounded like this. But Wednesday was going to end really well. But on Wednesday morning, a special gift arrived for me and for my little Peloton bike. Before I tell you what the gift is, let me tell you this. I'm a firm believer that you have to put effort into the relationships in your life. You have to be intentional. You gotta work hard. You have to spice it up. You have to make things fun. So just like you put all the effort into your love relationships with your husband or your wife or your children, God or with your coworkers, so it is with your relationship with your health and fitness. You gotta make it fun. You gotta spice it up. You gotta make it to where you wanna do it every day. Brilliant. So I bought something to spice up my relationship with my health and fitness and it arrived on Wednesday. So I ordered something and guess what? It arrived today. Shall we see what's inside? So here you go. Ooh, what up? I ordered a disco ball. Ooh, yeah! So there you go, a little bit of spice to make my rides every day a little bit more fun. Oh my gosh, look at you judge me. I feel your judgment coming through the camera. You think I'm the biggest dork. You'd be right. I am. It's, your judgment is like dripping all over me. I feel it. Get it off me, man. Get it off me. I feel it. It's in my hair. It's in my hair. Get it out. Well, of course I had to add the lights, man. Full immersion. I love the lights. I even had to post pictures on Facebook just to show everybody. Hey, man, if I'm going to spend this much money on a bike, what's $12 on a, on a disco ball? God. So I couldn't wait to use my disco ball and my new lighting for my next ride on Thursday morning. It was going to be a ride called the Dance Hall Caribbean Ride. Whatever that is. So this morning I have a, a Caribbean ride with Allie Love. Allie Love is a cool cat with a lot of soul and just a real positive vibe. 
Caribbean ride. I have no idea what that is, but why do I get the feeling I'm not going to be hearing any ACDC? Dude, ACDC's my band. Saw them three times in concert. Allie Love. Now that's a cool name. I wonder if that's her real name. Or no, if I could pick a movie star name, I think for me I'd pick Donnie Slade. I thought it sounded cool. I think it's time for Donnie Slade to get on the bike. So check this out. I'm approaching my bike at 4 a.m. and look at those disco lights just blaring. Full immersion, studio experience. Hey, look, give me a break. I need all the help I can get at 4 a.m. Allie Love gave us a great Caribbean ride. Allie, I love the music. Thank you so much for the workout. That was a good ride. So all in all, it was another wonderful week with my Peloton bicycle. Join the obsession with me and click the link down below and get two free months. Boom!